Hi guys, we're Tim and Sandy and of course Pablo and we love travelling around in our 2004 Mercedes Sprinter. For the next few weeks, we are taking on the East Coast and Central Tasmania. This week on the Sandvan. The Sandvan's ill-fated expedition up the North Face. It's a little bit icy. I am not the fittest. The steep stairs have started. I wouldn't say I'm enjoying this. Uh, it, we've just been uphill the whole time. No, I ripped my glove. <laughs> by the way, I'm just hanging on by one hand filming here. Tim backed into a log. Forecast for snow this afternoon as well, and if they drive us in, they may not be able to come pick us up. So what do we do? Welcome to our channel, the Sandvan. Good morning, everyone. So today we are at Cradle Mountain and we have done the Cradle Mountain walk before but this time we're going to do things a little bit differently. We are going to go to Marion's Lookout. It's a very, uh, what, it was a difficult, one of the difficult it's walks. It's classed as a difficult walk because it's at high altitude. Yeah and there's apparently there's chains to help you up the steep bits and stuff like that. So we might get there, we might not. <laughs> <laughs> I am not the fittest uh, but I think I can do it. I mean, I've done Mount Warning before. I don't know if anyone knows Mount uh, Mount Warning or the Queen. Oh, is it Queensland Mount Warning? I think uh, New South Wales. New South Wales, um, and that's similar sort of difficulty. So, anyway, we're we'll going to go. How and we catch go, a bus. But I'll just show you the map here. If Tim can show you where we are going. We are currently down here somewhere. If you can see that. Yeah, we're just down here. We're going to go up we this trail. All the way to Dove Lake, and then we're going to climb here. Yep. Up to an elevation of 1,223 metres above sea level. Anyway, wish us luck. With our last walk, we could at least trust rocks and bits of wood and stuff like that to step on. This time, it's a little bit icy <laughs> and nothing's our friend at the moment, so tree roots are the worst, followed by icy rocks and just we just have to be careful everywhere. <laughs> Impending doom. It is. So the only thing is our friend is gravel and there's not much of that out here. Cradle Mountain is Tasmania's most recognisable landmark and one of Tasmania's most visited attractions. There is a visitor centre on the park boundary with an interpretive display, ranger station, park information, walker registration and up-to-date weather reports. There's no town at Cradle Mountain, however, there's a wide range of accommodation in the Cradle Valley area. Well, we've only just 20 minutes into the walk and the steep stairs have started. How are they, honey? I want to get back already. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just keep climbing, honey. This is the level of obsession we have. We're over, a, <laughs> I'd say we're over 700 meters above sea level I'm and we're checking, checking YouTube, YouTube <laughs> to see how many subscribers we've got. Please subscribe! <laughs> See these people here? In my way. <laughs> Joys of YouTube. In act <laughs> In actual fact, I'm looking up um, our uh, the app called All Trails and it actually tells you exactly where we are. We are the blue dot. And we're going to Marion's Lookout, as you can see right there. And then we're going around the outside on the way back. So even though I am obsessed, I was just checking where we were. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh... Hello. I wouldn't say I'm enjoying this. Uh, it, we've just been uphill the whole time. It's but I'm thing. sure it'll be <laughs> I know it's about it. I'm sure it'll be worth it in the end. Right? Yes, of course it will. <laughs> <laughs> but 
but this is this is the scramble at the moment <laughs> um and i'm sure it gets worse but you know it's it's it wouldn't be a challenge if it wasn't vertical would it or challenging <laughs> And here we are, the Sand Van Zyl Faces Expedition up the north face of this hill. <laughs> ah. Getting a bit puffed out, how about you? <laughs> the face says it all. <laughs> well, I thought we were getting close to the top, but then he says that we've got another 30 minutes and we've got to climb that. Doesn't look very big on camera, but it is big in real life. That's what she said. We're about to start the steep bit. Uh, we will let you know when we get to the top. If we get to the top. I actually don't know if I can climb this. We have to scramble up here. It looks quite steep. I don't know if we, I actually don't know if I'm going to make that. Well, it's not every day you see someone with a cello on their back going up a mountain, but there you go. <laughs> it's not every day you see that. I'll do a bit here. It just so happened that we bumped into the lovely Georgia Shine. Georgia has been playing the cello for most of her life, and she was here on Cradle Mountain making a recording for her new release. It was so nice to see the scenery this way. I can't play you her music due to copyright, but here is some random cello music so you have an idea of what we're experiencing. Someone's got to hold the camera, so. There you go, back in track. We don't even have to do any music to this one. Got stuff like down there. Well, we've done the steep bit. Now we've got to do the rest of it. Up there. Hello, crow. He's real. This is a long way up. There he goes. For those of you who have been watching for a while, you know we love lunch with a view, and this one has topped them all so far. as high as we want to go this is about 1300 meters above sea level and it's getting very cold and it's getting colder <laughs> yeah I think we're gonna go another K in that direction which is part of the overland track but there's snow over there so we want to see the snow <laughs> and then we'll head back down Mary's lookout and then back down past the lakes and as you can see the weather's rolling in over there and that means yeah. it's gonna be coming this way very soon <laughs> and we found some more snow we found snow Again, that's how cold it is up here. Actually, it's quite deep. Again, it's solid. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> Don't slip over. Where do I step? To the side on the grass.
<laughs> Snow! <laughs> Finally. Finally. Took us long enough, two hour trek to find a, bit, a little yeah. bit. It's so cold here, I think we need a fire. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. Yeah, let's go. As if we aren't going to show you how we got down this great mountain. We'll come back to this scene. Quit the I'm filming you. <laughs> Oh no, I ripped my glove! <laughs> no! <laughs> end of the, look, that's the end of it. Not far to go. This is how people end up getting rescued off mountains because their gloves rip. Insufficient wooliness. By the way, I'm just hanging on by one hand filming here. The bare hands. Can you push it down? Oh, you want you want tension, do you? It won't tense. How do I get down there? Backwards. This, I can't even show my harness on. <laughs> and a helmet. And an helmet. Helmet. And an helmet. enough to see some wombats right at the end of the trail but not just one we saw a mother and baby I'm pretty sure this is a rare sight I think we need a fire yeah sounds like a good idea yeah let's go now that's what I call a fire <laughs> so much better so cheers <laughs> I mean, it's good that one, I'll let it. We found a better fire. <laughs> so nice. Let's just sit here in the lounge. Tim is coming. It's nice down here, eh? Yeah, our feet are pretty sore, so we'll put them up. Well, we're back from the mountain lodge and we did the Marion's Lookout today and I reckon I enjoyed that more than Dove Lake. Although, Dove Lake is the thing to do if you're going to come here. Um, but I'm really glad we, we kept going for that extra little 500 metres and saw snow um, as well. So, that was really cool. So tonight, what's the plan tonight, hey? Go and turn the power on that I plugged in that's not on. <laughs> so we had to unplug the van to go to the lodge and the best thing about this van is it just it's easy to pack up and go anywhere if you want. We did bring the scooter but all we had to do was unplug, latch the doors, make sure everything was switched off and off we went just because it's like five degrees tonight so I didn't want to freeze on the scooter. That's and one. we bent the scooter rack. Yes, this. We, we. I, I didn't have anything to do it with it. It was a team effort. <laughs> as we were backing the scooter, uh, scooter. As we were backing the sprinter out, um, Tim I, backed into a log I and was let bent. Down by my spotter. He bent our um, scooter rack. I will show you that in the morning when it's light. Um, but yes, it is a team effort here. We probably should have had a spotter outside, but you just kind of don't think of that. We thought we had heaps of room at the back. Didn't see the, didn't see the log. But anyway, we're going to sit and watch some of our fave YouTubers are out at the moment. So we're going to sit and watch that tonight and we'll catch you in the morning.
Good morning. Normally I'd uh, get dressed first, but check this out. It's snowing. <laughs> it's snowing vitally. Let me see if I can clear this up. There we go. And it's quite heavy snow. It's settling on the uh, kitchen, the camp kitchen over there. I was going to take you for a tour of the campsite this morning, but we're going to sit here and watch the snow for a bit. Maybe, maybe Tim might make make us a coffee, eh? Yeah? Yes, I'll get up and make <laughs> you a coffee. It's so different from yesterday. We're still at Cradle Mountain. Um, it was so sunny as you saw yesterday and now it's snow. I can't believe that. It's such a difference. It's turning into a winter wonderland. It's turning into a winter wonderland out there. Coffee babe. Thank you. We're in uh, no rush now to get off the campsite. We've got an hour and a half. I'm all going to sit and drink our coffee and look out the window at the snow. And hopefully I will be able to run around quickly and show you the campsite. We're at Discovery Parks in Cradle Mountain. It's the only one up here. Um, but, uh, yeah. It's the only campsite up Cradle Mountain. So it stopped snowing momentarily. So I'm going to take you to, for a tour of the campsite. And just someone just saw me talking to you. Not used to vlogging. <laughs> just a short walk away through this lovely winter wonderland. We have our amenities block. As mentioned before, this is the only campsite on Cradle Mountain, even the free ones. It's just this paid one. It was $50 a night on off season. Here we go. Let's have a look in here. I know you're, what you're thinking. <coughs> Why am I so excited about a little snow? I live in a state where it's literally called the Sunshine State. I mean, the coldest it gets up there is 15. <laughs> so this is very exciting for me. And I love how Tasmania gives you all the weathers and you see all the seasons. Um, it's, just, well, it's just one of the great things about it. And I put it in the freezer for it. <laughs> I put Snow Cradle Mountain in the bottle and put it in the freezer for it. <laughs> so we have to meet up with him. <laughs> we just collected some snow for a, a friend of ours. This is a joke. Um, because he, missed, he was in Cradle Mountain. Not long ago, maybe a week ago, and he didn't see it, so this is a joke. We know what's going to melt. I won't uh, talk in there as people are having breakfast, but it's a really nice big area with two massive big fires. Over here we have a barbecue area, including some pizza ovens. I think it started to snow again, so I'm going to get back in the van. <laughs> We have got 15 minutes to uh, pack up and go. It's uh, only a bit late this morning because we were running around the snow. Um, but one thing about this campsite is if you can bring your own food and not go out to the um, lodge too much, that'd be great <laughs> because it's, I think it's 25 to 30 dollars a meal up there. So we've been cooking here. We had we did go there yesterday because we went for a big walk and etc. But yeah, even the food here at the campsite, if you want to buy it at the little shop, it's like $13 for a frozen pizza that you can cook here yourself, but I would still bring my own. So today's plan is we are going to do the little boathouse walk to Cradle Mountain just to see um, the mountain actually covered in snow. Um, but then we have to catch a the ferry back to the mainland tonight, so a bit of a rush today, but we really want to see what we can. Oh, I wasn't prepared for you to turn the camera on. We're walking to the bus, hooray! It's, it's cold and the wind goes straight down the back of your neck. But you have to do it, don't you? So the bus driver just told us that they can't take us to Dove Lake because it's forecast for snow this afternoon as well and if they drive us in they may not be able to come pick us up. So we're just going for a walk on a little circuit and it's such a different day than it was yesterday. There's lovely snow sitting on the ground, there's ice on the boardwalk 
cold. It's just amazing how much it can change in one day. Because they say to take um, a heavy jacket and stuff, even in summer, just in case. And now I know why. <laughs> I'll put you down before I sip over. It's starting to snow again. That's better. Love a bit of snow. <laughs> so peaceful. Well, we've walked 45 minutes. It snowed for about 20 minutes of that. <laughs> but we've turned around and we're going to go back now because the place we want to get to is another an hour walk, I think. Um, so, yeah, we're not going to go up there just in case we get into trouble. But, uh, yeah, we're on our way back now. It's getting wet and cold now. It's like having it snowing. Yeah. It's magical, but now it's soggy. <laughs> Sogginess is not as fun now. Right, we are back in the van now. <laughs> um, we're a bit pushed for time now because we've got to do a few things before we go on the um, ferry. But we've got the kettle on, we're going to have some lunch in the car park here before we head off. And uh, yeah, and we'll have a bit. The um, diesel heater's running. I'm just so happy it snowed today. <laughs> We've just arrived at the Spirit of Tasmania. We came down from Cradle Mountain, made our way to Devonport, and we're just waiting in line now. And it's said to get here by five. We're here at uh, ten to four, and I'm glad we did because there is a massive lineup <laughs> to get on board. Uh, so yeah, we'll just wait here until they let us on, and then we'll fill you in. After a long wait, we have finally got on the Spirit of Tasmania, but we are very, very sad to leave. Um, we had a fabulous time in Tasmania, and it was so the best thing about it was just being able to see pretty much every region of Tasmania. It's like there's so much beautiful scenery to see. We couldn't even show all of it to you. If we did show all of it to you, we'd be stopping every five seconds and we wouldn't get around on the first day. Yeah. The place is just amazing to look at. There's so much to do. We haven't even scraped the top of the, you know, Barrel. things to do. <laughs> no, we haven't, yeah, we, yeah, so. There's 99 waterfalls in Tasmania. We saw three. <laughs> and we, we went to a And there's a lot, lot of mountains places. and we climbed quite a few, so. Yeah. But anyway, um, we hope you enjoyed this episode. We also hope that you enjoyed our complete Tasmanian series for this year, I guess. There's eight episodes if you haven't seen those. Um, I'll put a link to the playlist. Um, and we're on the spinner of Tasmania at the moment. If you haven't seen our episode on what to do on board here, I'll also put a link to that as well because I won't film it all again because I've already done it once before. And yeah, you'll uh, see it again. No. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. And we will be coming back to Tasmania. We will be, yes. To do all the stuff. Well, do some <laughs> more of the stuff that we didn't do. Um, we've tried to show you as many different ways to um, stay over here. We've got like free camps. We got the the cheap um, overnight stays, and we also went to the campsites as well. So we we mixed it up. Yeah. For you. So next week we'll be back on the mainland, and I would assume it'll be in Victoria, but we don't know. As per usual, we have no plan. Um, but anyway, <laughs> please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you next week. And please leave a comment. Even just say hi. We'll say hi back. See you next time. See you later. <laughs>